And in Pennsylvania, members of the House have been sworn in, but members on either side of the aisle cannot seem to agree on should, who should be the next speaker. But, Jeff, you have an update. There has been a resolution on that matter. Yeah, they couldn't seem to agree in the weeks leading up to this. They couldn't seem to agree at least uh, uh, some part during the day today, but now they have. Late this afternoon, a speaker has emerged. He was supported and voted on. His name is Mark Rossi. He's a Democrat from Berks County. Let's take a look at some pictures so we can tell you how this all happened. In the November elections, Democrats won control of the Pennsylvania House. It's the first time in about a dozen years that the Democrats would control Control the large Pennsylvania House here in the state. But a longtime member actually died, and two other members of the State House are moving up to higher elective office. One, the lieutenant governor, one will become a member of Congress. With those folks resigning and the member passing, it gave Republicans control, at least until special elections are held for those open seats later on this year. Now, the House spent the day discussing being on the floor, going out of the floor talking they swore in a whole group the entire house swore them in and this is a this is a house with lots of new members late in the afternoon they decided on a speaker it's a democrat his name is mark rossi he's a democrat from berks county he is actually known because at 13 years old or at least as a teenager he was the victim of priest sex abuse and he has been very public and very aggressive in working reforms on that issue here's what Rossi had today when speaking from the rostrum and after he was sworn in. We have a unique situation before us. Never has this house been so divided, not just by numbers, but by beliefs. In carrying out the functions of this office, I pledge to put people above politics and the institution before ideology. I will tolerate no caucus and no member trying to outmaneuver the other. I will not tolerate incivility or a lack of decorum. Sometimes Republicans will win, sometimes Democrats will win. And that is, the, that is fine so long as the beneficiaries are the people of this Commonwealth. So that is Mark Rossi speaking just after he was nominated and then sworn in. You can see here that he's striking a conciliatory tone. He is a Democrat, but he says he will actually change his registration to become an independent and will not caucus or will not meet, in fact, with either party and certainly not the Democrats. How long will he be speaker? A Republican leader came out here and said that he expects that he will be speaker for the two-year term. Possibly not the case. Joanna McClinton is a state representative from Philadelphia. It's believed that when special elections are held here, and I realize there's a lot happening here, but when special elections are held and Democrats take control of this body, it is believed that McClinton, a Democrat, a very well-known one from Philadelphia, may in fact become the speaker. In Harrisburg, at the state capitol, I'm Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News. Folks. All right, Jeff, reporting from the capitol, thank you very much. We'll be right back.